Now, LOS 50C wants you to describe potential benefits of alternative investments in the context of portfolio management. What I would make sure to understand is, as I mentioned earlier, that one of the reasons for including alternative investments in, our, in an investor's portfolio is its diversification aspects. Why? Because the primary motivation is that these alternative asset, alternative investment asset classes have historically had a low correlation of returns. That's number one, a low correlation of returns with the returns of traditional investments, such as stocks and bonds. And because they've had a low correlation of returns, that will, in, that will help to reduce the overall portfolio risk for that investor. So number one, they're the low correlation of returns. Now, on the other hand, the historical returns, historically, alternative investments returns have actually been higher on average than the returns on traditional investments like stocks and bonds. Now, what I would know is, even since the readings are pointing out that alternative investments have historically had higher returns than traditional investments, traditional investments like stocks and bonds, why is that? And there's three reasons that are cited for the higher returns associated with alternative investments. Number one, alternative investments like real estate, uh, commodities and the like, they tend to be less efficiently priced than stocks and bonds. And that obviously gives an opportunity for skilled managers to outperform. So number one is less efficiently priced assets when it comes to alternative investments. Number two, alternative investments many times offer higher returns than traditional investments because they tend to be less liquid or they tend to be more illiquid than stocks and bonds. And more illiquid assets tend to be what? Inefficiently priced, which is leading to the first point I made earlier. And then the third reason that could lead to the higher returns that people have, have earned with uh, alternative investments is the fact that alternative investments many times use leverage. And what does leverage do? Leverage can enhance returns. So those are three reasons that could lead to explain, explaining why alternative investments as an asset class have provided higher historical returns compared to traditional investments like stocks and bonds. However, alternative investments like hedge funds, private equity funds, and the like, they don't have, they're not flawless. They do have potential problems because again, we're relying a lot of times with on historical data, on historical returns data, and also traditional risk measures. So there's two potential problems that you should be aware of. One of them is called the survivorship bias, and then the other one is called the backfill bias. Now we talked about the survivorship bias in an earlier reading, but let's reiterate it here because as I told you, the CFA Institute loves to ask about the survivorship bias. When it comes to alternative investments like hedge funds, how do we have this survivorship bias and the backfill bias? I'm gonna relate this to hedge funds. Hedge funds, which there are many different hedge funds out there with many different kinds of strategies, they are not required to disclose their returns to index providers. So you have index providers like HFR, Hedge Fund Research Database, and others that try to include, include hedge funds as part of their universe and track the performance of these, the performance returns of these hedge funds. But, it's, but the hedge funds that report, it's on a voluntary basis. So a hedge fund might decide not to provide their returns to HFR, or they might decide to provide their returns and actually then another period decide not to because it's voluntary. So there's no requirement for any of the hedge funds to provide their returns to an index provider. So what happens is when a hedge fund wants to show how well it did compared to its you know, uh, competition, what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to show some kind of performance. They want to show they, that they outperform their universe. So if they've had very strong positive performance, but they've never reported it to the hedge fund research database, they could suddenly meet with them and say, hey, listen, we have a track record of five years and we've never been included in your index. We'd like you to include us in the index. And here's our five years of performance to show you that we have a good track record and we want you to include us as part of your index so that we can show how we are outperforming the index to our potential investors. HFR might say, okay, that's fine. We're happy to do that. We see this positive performance, but 
Here's where the backfill bias comes in. What should HFR, hedge fund research, the index provider do? They should say, okay, you want us to include you? Fine, from this point going forward. They should not include, they should not include the hedge funds historical performance as part of the index because they were never part of the index in the past. But hedge fund research will actually allow the hedge fund to include their past performance as part of the index provider's historical performance. In other words, they'll allow them to fill in their previous uh, returns as part of the indices returns. That is called the backfill bias. Whereas the hedge fund, what does S&P do? Well, S&P, which is for stocks, if you want to, if you want to, if they, if you want to join the S&P or you're going to be part of the S&P or some other stock index, they'll take your performance going forward. They won't say, oh yeah, let's include your past performance as part of the index because you weren't part of the index in the past. But hedge fund research doesn't do that or HFR and other databases don't do that. They'll allow the hedge fund that's joining them to Back, backfill or include their past performance as performance of the index, therefore doing what? Skewing the index provider's returns upward because obviously if this hedge fund that is joining had a positive track record, that's gonna skew the overall <clears throat> returns of the index upward. So that is called the backfill bias.